after each member has been activated and approved and given his or her proper role, author 13, young author, or teacher mentor, there are a few more steps to finalizing the membership. On your dashboard, find Users and All Users, then click on the column titled Registered two times, allowing it to load between clicks, until you see the most recently registered students at the top. You can also use Search Users to find a student. Check to see that each user has the following, username, name, email, site role, badge, form role, and two UAM user groups. Now I'll show you the least number of steps you can use to finish the setup for each user. Click Extended and check for capital letters and things like too many spaces before commas and such. The most important thing to check for is that your school is listed exactly the same for each of your students. This becomes a link for your school page. Now hit the Profile tab and scroll down. Check to be sure that the first name is correct and capitalized and that the display name is the first name. Under Badges, click the box beside Spark Inquiry with Questions. Next, under Form Role, choose Participant. Finally, check to be sure that one of the first two user groups is clicked and click another one for your school. Save your changes by clicking Update User. Then you have to approve the assignment. Go to Badges on your dashboard menu and find Assignments. Hit Approve for this student. You can register a group of students and approve them later all at once. When you go back to the user you have updated, you should see the following. Username, name, email, site role, badge, form role, and two UAM user groups. Next user, and thanks for this somewhat tedious setup process. It makes the site work for each of our students in the ways we want it to.